my last recording is because the Vancouver rain is here <sighs> and our apartment doesn't get very good light in the day as you can tell it's kind of yellowy in here today because our lamps kind of cast yellowish light uh, in the living room we have two lamps one's kind of in like a I guess it's technically a closet but it doesn't have a door on it it's just shelving and then the other one's just on a table over there and they're fine and the window's also open so I'm sure the building across the street's having a great view hey guys um but yeah it is what it is this room doesn't have a light overhead so we're just gonna make do with it um yeah what's been going on so my needles have been busy I guess they always are but they've been busy um, so let's get into, oh, first I should probably do a shout out to my brother. Happy birthday, Ben. He's 25. Crazy. Crazy, crazy. So he's still back in Ontario with my parents, so. Happy birthday. Um, yeah, so let's get into what's off the tips. So I have... I guess technically three things, I believe. We'll go with this one as the first one. So this is my cute little elephant. So I call her Elephant, because it sounds fancy. Um, but she's a little cutie. So the main body, arms, and legs are knit out of Haven Yarns. Oof. It was a light DK weight. I don't remember exactly the content. Merino nylon, obviously. Um, and I believe she calls it her lavender sky colorway, which I think is just great. I didn't put a tail on this guy just because, well, we'll get there in a second. So you might notice that like the bottom part of the body above the legs doesn't have any speckles. It's a different yarn. So I ran out when I was doing the leg I think yeah I did and I ended up ripping out part of the body to finish it so the other color is paper birch I think from sweet fiber in her merino twist worsted I think it's not too bad it's definitely um a tighter gauge than the rest of it but I don't mind it it actually ends up making her sit a little bit better the pattern is technically um, oh, what is it called elephant girl in a do doty dress I think is how you would say it d-o-t-t-y um, from little cotton rabbits who is Julie Williams I had the head finished forever and I just let it sit and then I did the body um, two weeks ago I guess but she's done and so cute. So that's off the tips number one. Off the tips number two. Um, okay, I'm going to put this down. Right, so I bought a new mug this week. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw it. So exciting. So it's a TMNT mug. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Huge fan. I bought it last weekend, I think found it at Winners. It is fantastic. It's not very big, which is okay. I've just got some some tea in there today, some Tetley Bold, which is just like a stronger orange pico. Um, it makes me so happy. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna put that down because I can't juggle it and if I spill it, I'm gonna be angry. And if I break it, I'll be very upset. Um, FO number two is my hitchhiker shawl, which you guys didn't even get to see as a whip because I cast it on after the last episode. I can't exactly remember when, but in my project page, 
definitely on there. Um, wait a tick. But let's see here. Projects. And I'm sweaty and my nose is running. The weather here right now is bonkers. Um, yeah, okay. So I cast this all in on the 24th. I finished it on the 28th of October. It took me four days. And I think I have a total, yeah, I think it's a total of 38 points. So of kind of like the Pico edgy things that are all on the one side. Um, it's a good size. It's one full skein of Haven Yarns uh, Sparkle Sock. So it's an 84% Superwash Merino with a 16% Gold Stellina content. Um, I really like it. I'm still finding out the perfect way <clears throat> to wear it but I mean it sits pretty easy the color is called bumbleberry yeah bumbleberry and there's like lavendery purples a more of a raspberry burgundy whitey cream and then like some grays that kind of pop through between like the white and the lavendery purple it's really pretty I'm classifying it as like my first winter knit of the year because it's very very winter to me I think but I really like it um yeah it's I think it's a fairly quick knit it didn't take me very long and I don't I don't know I guess I do have some speed behind me but I don't know I enjoyed it knit one knit one by yourself um so the hitchhiker shawl is by Martina a lot of people say Beam, B-E-H-M, I would say Bem, not entirely sure. Great pattern, super simple, but so effective with like a variegated skein. And I don't even, so some of it gets a little funny just because of like the stitch counts and stuff. So like, yeah, there's a good spot of it. So here it's kind of almost like every other stitch looks like it's a different color with the rows just because of how they really line up which is fine it doesn't bug me but most of it is very like whoosh, whoosh, kind of slashing of color i guess and you get like you know a little bit of pooling there and in this section it doesn't bug me because i think it's just fun to watch it you know, there's more of those kind of colors lining up there i don't mind it I really don't mind it. I really find it fascinating to watch a skein knit up because I'm not so good at knowing that from what a skein looks like um, in the hank or in the skein or whatever the heck you want to call it. Whatever the proper terminology is. Um, yeah, so that is number two. And then number three pair of socks. So these are my um, entry into the Gilmore Cal. Oh, yeah, Gilmore Cal, um, which is being hosted by Sarah of the Knitting Tight podcast. Uh, the pattern I used is the Stars Hollow Socks by Megan... Megan, doo, doo, doo. Um, Megan, where'd my socks go? Oh right, they don't have a picture on my project page. It's a picture of Inomnia Paratus because it's ridiculously Gilmore Girl project page. Um, the pattern is by Megan Huber. All right, so Stars Hollow Socks, Megan Huber. There's two of them. They ended up quite different on the leg with the pooling, which I thought was kind of fun. Like this side of the sock is very light and a lot more of like the creamy, light, yellowy and oranges. Whereas the other side got a lot of the darker streaks of color, which is kind of fun. And then this one is just very much 
the same-ish all the way through. There's a little bit of pooling of like the green there, but I love it. And, um, I don't know. I did these toe up. Well, the pattern's written toe up, so yeah, I did it toe up, but in Omnia Pratis is kind of my my thing for these socks just because why not go for it why not so toe up I did my reverse toe rounded toe from the Rose City Rollers which I've written out backwards and then I do it just gonna switch this and go in like that um, so yeah, very rounded, and then this is just per pattern. The only thing that's different is I increased my toe up to 72 stitches, which is my my stitch count. Um, but I didn't increase the pattern, uh, yeah, the stitch repeat of the pattern. So it's the exact same. You would just have, like if you're using the lesser stitch counts, you'd have less fabric on the sides of the foot. But it's a really cute like crossed twisted stitch or something I don't even know what it is actually but it's fun it's a little fiddly in the beginning I don't mind it um I did a heel flapping gusset what um only because I've knit one toe up pair before which is my fine and dandy socks and I did that heel I swapped it out so it's technically an eye of partridge heel flap there's the gusset all in through there and then the leg I just continued until I had I don't know a decent size leg the thing I don't like about toe ups look at how crappy that cuff looks looks like poop really does don't like it but it looks fine when it's on my leg it stretches out and it lays fine and it's a twisted rib because that's what the pattern called for and I just went all in with this one um, so I'm quite proud of them I do really like them and the color away is, what is it? it's the Sedona colorway from black cat custom yarns which I think is absolutely wonderful I'm so glad I have another skein in a different colorway cuz it's so nice. It's an 80-20 superwash merino nylon. About 400 yards for 115 grams. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. And... Is that going to be backwards for you guys? I don't know. Anyway. So those are my FLs for the week. Let's take this. My focus? I think so. Um, yeah. Um, sitting on a walking wire. And then, let's go to whips, because I really only have one now. I don't have many more at all. So my whip. Are you ready? I think it's getting We'll see how this goes, but um, this has seen a lot of progress. Uh, do you see? There's no needles in there. That's right. I bound off the body of my walnut cardigan. So I've got the body. There's the armholes up here, the way up here, and then all of the body and the ribbing. All I have left to do is the sleeves, which, well, sleeves and then like the finishing button band and collar. Not bad. But since the body is done, I get to cast on something else as a reward. I think I'm going to pick up the sleeves first and start those just so that they, woo, look how crazy that light is. Sun. Very yellow. 
Um, it is what it is today. But yeah, so this is my walnut cardigan. The lighting is crap today. Not much I can do about it. Um, it's an all over cable pattern. Um, maybe I'll have to put in a picture or two. You can kind of see it. But the body is done. So excited. So for the sleeves, I went out today because I really detest. I really don't like Magic Loop. I really don't. So if I can avoid it, I will. So I went out and picked up two 9 inch circular needles of the Knitter's Pride Dreams. This one is the 5.0 millimeter, which is what I was using for the body. Um, and then I bought a 7, which is a 4.5 millimeter for the ribbing, which should be fine. Um, yeah, should be good. I was using just the same Knitter's Pride Dreams on my interchangeable set for the rest of it. Um, so that's my whip. I think I have a test knit coming up. Which will be lots of fun. Could you guys hear that? That was the cat. Funny. Um, but I have caked up some yarn, which is Spud and Chloe Fine Sock 8020 Wool Silk Blend in the Sidewalk colorway. Nothing fancy, and I bought it a long time ago. But it was $16.50. It's now like 20 bucks. So, Canadian dollars. Boop! Big poopy. But this is the cake. It's a little, f I think it's a 65 gram. Yeah, weighs 65 gram. I actually weighed mine and mine weighs 68. So there's a little bit more in there. And I think I'm going to knit another pair of the Netty socks in just a nice little light gray color. Partially because... This isn't enough for like a full size pair of socks. Um, and I kind of want to see what a wool silk blend does for a pair of socks. This has been in my stash for a while. I also have a skein in red that I could potentially do a little pair of red hot socks or something. I don't know. Um, so potential whip until that test knit starts. And that that in my lone large bag, my winter bag. I did swatch for my fireside pullover. No, not fireside. I did that one already. For my timber cardigan. And this has just been kind of in the bag, hanging out. It looks great. Looks really good. There's a fold in it because it was folded, but I've got engaged. I like it. I really love. I really like the feel of it. So I don't really remember what I was talking about. Camera issues today. But this is the sweater that I'm gonna cast on. I'm gonna allow myself to I don't know. Work some of it. Maybe the yoke. We'll see. Um, but I will be using size 8, so now the, my, my size 8s are free now. I think I have both sets free. I have like a normal 5 inch tip and then I have like the smaller, the smaller tips as well. Yeah, these ones. So I've essentially used these ones for my whole walnut cardigan. They're these little shorter ones, the other ones are longer. Um, these ones I find are easier on my hands because I can just hold it in my hand. I don't have too much weight of the needle pressing against my other fingers, which I like. Um, yeah, so excited. That'll be so nice. And I caked up another skein because I don't like cutting yarn if I don't have to. So I'll leave this together 
which is so silly, but I'll leave it together until the end. So it'll probably end up being like some bottom ribbing or something. Um, yeah, should be fine. There's lots of just needles and stuff in there. That'll be my new whip, hopefully for next time. Um, what else can I talk about today? I'm going to talk to you about some yarn that came in the mail. So I don't know if you guys remember when I talked about Mint City, but I talked to you about an orange pullover and I fell in love with it and I fell in love with the color and I fell in love I just fell in love. That's really, that's all there is to it. I fell in love. I plan on knitting it at some point. <sighs> okay, so here's the yarn. I have five skeins of a Polworth DK in this orange color. The light's kind of throwing it off. It's not that like, I don't know, whatever you want to call that, but it's beautiful. A little better. Even as a hat, it'd be fun, but it's a sweater. Look at it. There's lots of like tonality to it, which I think is needed for an orange sweater. So the yarn is orange flower. Oops, sorry. Orange flower yarn. Um, it's hand dyed in Pennsylvania. This is her new Polworth base that came out in October. It's technically a light DK weight, um, and the sweater calls for a DK. The difference in this skein is five yards. So her DK 250 is a 100 gram skein with 250 DK yards. This has 245. I don't think the difference is gonna be that big. Haven't swatched with it yet, obviously. It's still all in skein form. Um, this is the orange peel colorway, and it's 100% New Zealand Polworth Superwash Wool. I'm so excited. I... It might get cast on when I'm a good chunk through my timber. Maybe? But it's gonna be great. So it's gonna be the Lori sweater by Jose Paquin, I think is how you say it. Um, I so excited, so, so excited. Um, yeah, I can't stop staring at it, so I should probably put it down. But super great, great price point on that one too, even though it's American dollars and our Canadian dollars crap. That's kind of everything that's really on my radar. I've got that test knit coming up, which should be fun. I have a few options for yarn for that one in my stash that I'll be using, so that's fun. Um, I'm going to the Jared Flood meet and greet signing at Beehive Wool in Victoria on December, what is that, 9th, I think is when that's happening. So we're going, me and a friend of mine are going down on December 9th. We're gonna come back home on the 10th. Um, we booked a hotel room, why not? I haven't gone away in a weekend for a while, so I figured it's a good enough reason to go away. Why not? Maybe get my hands on some more Brooklyn Tweed. I want to feel the Arbor in person, which is their newest um, base that came out, which isn't a tweed base. It's definitely like applied and milled. I don't know, it looks more like a generic, you could find it somewhere else kind of yarn. It's not tweed, it's not wool and spun, it's definitely like a, a normal yarn in that sense. If that, I don't know, I'm explaining it badly. Um, it's a DK weight. They have, I think they said it's in like 30 colors, which is fine. I want to see them in person. I really do. And I want to feel it because 
if it doesn't feel that that rustic i probably won't get any if anything i might get some shelter which i don't have um because i don't have a lot of worsted weight yarns and i want to knit some more hats i do i do i do i really do um yes let's go over some cows so I will possibly be knitting something else or entering my walnut cardigan into the Gilmore Cow. Again, that's being run by Sarah over at the Knitting Type podcast um, until the end of November. November 30th, is that right? Yeah, until November 30th. Um, Essentially, if you can spin it into being Gilmore inspired, you're good. If it's Gilmore colored, like named yarn, like if it's like the Luke and Lorelei colorway, if it's a pattern, so like there's the Stars Hollow Socks, there's um, the Where You Lead I Will Follow Socks, somebody else had one, I think it was I Smell Snow. Um, there's a Laura Life Shawl by Shannon Cook that will qualify. Um, if it's something that you've seen in the show and you want to try to replicate it, go for it. That counts. Yeah, there's so many options for that one, which is great. And I think there's so many of us that are excited for the new episodes. I did actually, was it last week or the week before I finished all of the seven seasons? Kind of going through a little bit of a withdrawal. <laughs> Hurry up, revival! Um, yeah. I think. Oh, there's still the within along going on, which is kind of like a casual cow, just knit something from the book. Um, so I've entered my tread hat into that one with the pom pom on it. Um, I will be putting my timber cardigan in there and keep chatting up with all the ladies that are partaking with that one. Um, there's still the box of socks cow going on. My box is now at, I think that pair is pair number 16, I think. Um, and then I'll definitely have a few more pairs to put in. Maybe I'll get up to 20. That'd be kind of cool. It's a lot of socks. Because um, there's definitely one or two Christmas yarns gonna be knit up into socks for sure uh other cows that are going there's so many but ones that i'm kind of actively in what else is there oh there's still the harvest hat along going on with um twee and vanessa and that i think is until the 15th of november i'm pretty sure um could probably squish in another one Pats don't take that long. Uh, those are the main ones that I've kind of got my eyes on and I'm participating in. I'm just kind of looking over there to see if there's anything jogging my mind. Um, yeah, not so much. I am really looking forward to the apartment cooling down. We don't even have our heat on right now and it's warm in here. Um, we had new people move in over Halloween weekend in the unit below us and we think they're the first people to turn their heat on other than us in the building so we're kind of reaping benefits of that one not having to have our heat on which is nice but kind of crazy it's November yes we're Vancouver West Coast but still it's November it's not even that cold yet um what else is going on? I don't even know. Not a whole lot, I guess. Um, so I'm going to sign off for this week. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed it, great. If you are a first-time viewer, thank you so much for popping by and giving this one a try. If you're one of my longer returning viewers, thanks, guys. I really do appreciate it. Um... Yeah, I feel a little scatterbrained today, so hopefully next week I'm a little more with with it, I guess. Um, 
all the places that you can find me. So I am on Ravelry as E. Garnier. I am on Instagram as E underscore Garnier. Super inventive with that one. Uh, there's a Ravelry group, which is the My Two Tips Ravelry group. Uh, I think that's about it. Really, I'm on Periscope as well, which is at E. Garnier, I think. Something. It's either the underscore or without it. Whatever. I keep it pretty simple. I haven't done a Periscope in a long time. Um, yeah, I think that's it for this week. I feel like I'm just muttering nonsense, so we'll see you later. Have a good time. Have some meetings.